Buddy Robin HC is here. She's been here before. Welcome. Thank you. Good to have you here. She is a life coach and personal effectiveness trainer. So we're glad to have you because this is the time of year when, when nerves can get a little jangled. Absolutely. Gets a little crazy. So Robin's got great advice on how to just keep things cool. I even like this. I, I wouldn't mind reading this quote of yours. Um, mm -hmm. Look for excuses to be happy. There are plenty out there. Stress arises when we feel a situation, experience, or person should be different than it is in reality. Stress is created by our internal dialogue and our propensity to label an experience as right or wrong, should or shouldn't be. Ask yourself, how significant is this really? Mm -hmm. I think that's great advice. Yeah, and it's brilliant because in that statement, what there is is um, an ability to take responsibility for what's going on in your life. And, and it's an empowering perspective, too. Yeah, and it does, perspective is the key word. Mm -hmm. Step back. Yeah. Step out of it. Breathe for a minute. Yeah, and, and just think about whether or not you'll even remember this moment in a month. Exactly. Months. Like, ask yourself, how significant is this? And mm -hmm. when, if you look at the big picture, and I mean, especially the news and what's going on in the world, I think we have a lot more to be grateful for than to really be complaining about. So now's the time of year. Um, and that's one thing is that it gets very busy with time management and all the mm -hmm. families and going here to there. But I think, you know, having the attitude of gratitude that we've got, mm -hmm. people that care about us and that want to see us is, you know, one of the ways of looking at it. Absolutely, that there are people that want to be in our presence and who want to spend oh, time yeah. with us. It's, that, it's a great thing. Okay, um, you give a lot of advice about what to do in family situations. And I want to get to an email right away because it's going to kind of be a good example of everything you talk about here from Marcel. And I'm going to kind of okay. paraphrase because it's sort of long. But basically... Yep. Um, he doesn't want to have Christmas dinner with his family. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get along with his sister. Okay. Doesn't want to be in her company. Mm -hmm. uh, he, friends have offered to take him for dinner or have him come to their house. Mm -hmm. He would prefer that, but he doesn't want to upset his father mm -hmm. um, because the father will be very upset if the whole family is in together. Yeah. So, what should Marcel do? Because there's always this case, not always, but often this case where there's two people who don't get along in one right. situation. Right, and it's very common in families, and, and we sort of go back in, because there's a whole mm. history there. Um, I think ideally um, what Marcel might want to consider is if there's a way that he can make an appearance. It may not be staying for the whole dinner, but if you consider sort of everybody's feelings, it's Christmas time, everybody loves him, you know, possibly even, you know, the sister that he doesn't get along with, there's still some love there, there's just some issues surrounding it. Mm -hmm. um, and that, you know, if there is a way that he can make some sort of appearance or whether it be arrangements with the family earlier that day, you know, come over for a couple of appetizers, a glass of wine, but not, and I don't know the actual uh, situation mm -hmm. for why it is that he doesn't want to be around her. Mm. Um, so, you know, in, unless it's something really extreme, I would suggest to, you know, see if you can just pop in for the family's sake. So, Robin, at what point, because I even wonder about this myself, <coughs> it's a hard thing, at what point is it okay for Marcel to say, I'm doing what I want. Because mm -hmm. when you hear that, you immediately think, well, you're selfish. But isn't it okay for him to say, it's Christmas time and I will be most happy with my friends mm -hmm. and family. You go ahead and do what's going to make you most happy, but mm -hmm. you have to also honor what's going to make me most happy and that's to be with someone else. Yes. Um, yeah, and it, I mean, th and it's different with every situation mm -hmm. and really depending on who you are and, you know, what your values are. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it could be that if this is an extremely volatile situation, in the past there's just, there's blow up fights that it ends up being negative memories for everyone, mm -hmm. then yeah, perhaps that, that might be the most favorable thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple uh, <coughs> things in here, instances, this is a, a, maybe an obvious one, but bears mentioning limit alcohol consumption in environments where there are existing communication challenges. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a big one because often <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the family environment, there's, you know, Uncle Albert did something when you were 15 years old and or offended you yeah. or, you know and you tend I to bring it up and it's like, you, yeah by the way there was a thing you did <laughs> it's like yeah it's not good. not the appropriate time yeah and okay. there, if there are issues there um, because it, you know all families have issues mm -hmm. um, some are, are more uh, serious than others if there are issues there I mean ideally you maybe you can have a conversation before Christmas clean it up and if not wait till afterwards that's the other you know? thing that I was gonna mention with Marcel's letter too you know at what point do you sit down with the father or the sister and say, this is yeah. my beef with you, and you just get it out there? That is something you probably should do. Yeah, and that's, I, I mean, that is something that can be done, and, and um, certainly you want to be aware of how well you are at, at communicating to do something mm -hmm. like that, you know, because mm -hmm. you really want to come from a place of, I feel, you know, when you yeah, do not this, you I did, really, but yeah. I feel. Yeah, because if you just go, you are bleep, 
you yeah, got in pe trouble. People don't respond very well exactly. to that. Exactly. Right? Do not respond well to that. Okay, Robin's yeah. going to stick around. We've got your emails. Feel free to send more in. BT at CityTV.com. We'll keep talking about how to handle the holiday stress. First, here's Anne. Oh, yes. Thank you so much.